Hey everyone, continue for our last video, we have the half angle trick. Now, this trick is incredibly important and really useful in helping you prove or find or show certain equations by condensing one or more, or actually two or more complex numbers into one, as you'll see later on. But first, some properties that will be used. And these properties involve the complex numbers, ei theta and ei bracket minus theta. Now, as long as the arguments are the same, one positive, one negative, you can use these identities. And of course, the same modulus as well as you see later on. So the first property, we have ei theta plus ei minus theta. This actually gives us two cosine theta. Why is that so? And that is easily proven through the polar form. ei theta we know is cosine theta plus i sine theta, ei minus theta, well, it is cosine minus theta, which is cosine theta. Then we have plus i sine minus theta, which we know is minus i sine theta. So we add them together, you notice that sine i sine theta minus i sine theta equals to zero, cosine theta plus cosine theta is two cosine theta as well. So that's the first property. The next two properties, again, proven through the polar form, but instead of us adding these two complex numbers, we would now subtract them. So ei theta minus ei minus theta, using the same properties, now we have minus sine. So my cosine theta minus cosine theta gives us zero, i sine theta minus minus i sine theta gives us two i sine theta. All right, so ei theta minus ei minus theta gives us 2i sine theta. Now the other way around, if we have ei minus theta minus ei theta, this gives us 2i sine theta. All right, let me get some space because I'm going to add a constant later on. So as you can tell, these identities are super important, uh, super useful, right? very efficient. Two complex numbers become a single trigonometry form or a complex number. Now, if I were to add or uh, multiply a constant r, so let's say you have rei theta plus rei minus theta, rei theta minus rei minus theta, and likewise rei minus theta minus rei theta, basically I'm multiplying r throughout. <clears throat> so two things, same modulus, same argument, though one positive, one negative, we can use these identities. So how does this relate to the half angle trick? Now, Let's say we have ei theta plus 1. We can actually condense this to a single term. How? If you notice, in the three identities, we have one positive argument, one negative argument. How do we get that? From ei theta plus 1. And we use the idea of indices, right? Where we will now factorize out the half angle and hence the name of this trick. Factorize out the half angle, which is theta over 2, half theta. The first term in the bracket, ei theta over 2. The next term, ei minus theta over 2. And now you notice that that's why we factorize the half angle to give us both complex numbers, one positive argument, one negative argument. And this then gives us 2 cosine theta over 2 ei theta over 2. And this is where I want to introduce to you guys that it is entirely possible for your modulus to include the argument because it is still a constant. Just that your modulus must be positive and cannot contain any complex imaginary number or rather cannot contain, cannot contain the imaginary number. So your modulus is simply 2 cosine theta over 2 and your argument follows the exponential theta over 2. So does this work if let's say I have ei theta plus 2? No, it doesn't because now you'll get ei theta over 2, ei theta over 2 plus 2 ei minus theta over 2 and you realize you can't use the trick anymore because the modulus are different. If you put it in the polar form, you don't get cosine theta 2 anymore, you get something else. Alright? But it's not entirely impossible. 
just that you you're gonna have a hard time okay so what other possible forms are there again r i theta plus r works as well if i multiply everything by r my modulus will also be multiplied by r right so if r i theta plus r everything will be r now does it work for fractions as well answer is yes let's say i have e i theta over e i theta minus one let's change it up a bit factorize out the bottom e i theta over two then i get e i theta over two minus e i theta over two which is this one right here so i'm gonna get 2i r sine theta over 2. So 2i sine theta over 2. This then gives me ei theta divided by ei theta over 2 gives us tei theta over 2. Now over 2i sine theta. So it's 2 sine theta. Let's say I want it all in exponential form ei pi over 2. Then you can now get half cosecant theta over 2 ei theta over 2 minus pi over 2 and your argument is now theta over 2 minus pi over 2 your modulus is half cosecant theta over 2 although although some questions want you to express it in the polar form or in the cartesian form all right which is usually the case so what we're going to do is let's say you're in the polar form we're going to expand the top all right so you get cosine theta plus i sine theta over 2 2 rather not cosine theta below is simply 2i sine theta over 2 then gonna split them up together it's actually not a very big deal now you get i sine theta over 2 divided by i sine theta over 2 is 1 so you get half now your cosine theta over 2 you get half cotangent theta over 2 over i then you rationalize the denominator plus or rather now it becomes minus half cotangent theta over 2. Now, the last uh, quote-unquote technique is basically if let's say you have ei alpha plus ei beta, then you just need to, you know, factorize out one of them first. So let's say, so I'm giving alpha and beta, let's say if I have ei 2 theta and ei theta, I now factorize out the average angle, right? Because if I, factorize the angle, if I factorize the average angle, I will now get, let's say if average angle is 3 over 2 theta, I now have ei half theta minus ei minus half theta. Alternatively, you can always do it step by step. You factorize out theta first, then you get ei theta minus 1, then you factorize out another half theta the same way. So personally, I like to call this trick the average angle trick instead to accommodate for all of the cases. All right. So there we have it, the half angle trick where importantly the modulus must be the same, the argument are the same with one positive and one negative. And the main idea of factorizing out the half angle or my preferred way of saying it, the average angle.